Hi friends, myself Subrata Mukherjee and you are viewing my channel Dr. Subrata Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. I would like to request my viewers to subscribe the channel and to see the playlist section of the channel where I have uploaded lectures earlier. Today I am going to discuss a problem on labor costing. Students can communicate with me through email which I have given in the description box. Please give your valuable comments so that I can develop the channel for the benefits of the students of commerce. Bharat Sol Works has introduced the following sliding scale for its workers. Within the first 10% of saving in standard time, bonus is 40% of time saved. Within the first 20% of saving in standard time, bonus is 50% of time saved. Within the first 30% of saving in standard time, bonus is 60% of time saved. For the balance, bonus is 75% of time saved. Rekha Pal, a worker whose rate per hour is rupees 2, completed a particular job in 120 hours. Time allowed 200 hours. Computer earnings from the job. Here it is given that time allowed, which is denoted by TA is equal to 200 hours and time taken denoted by t is 120 hours therefore time saved is equal to time allowed minus time taken or 200 minus 120 is 80 hours now we have to calculate the bonus hours for this hours of time saved. So here I am writing calculation of bonus hours. So for the first 10% of standard time That is 10% into standard time is 200 hours or time allowed. So 200 is 20 hours. So for the first savings of 20 hours, bonus hour, here I am writing bonus hours is 40% of time saved. So 40% of 20 is 8 hours. So, this person has saved 80 hours. So, for the first 20 hours, bonus hour given is 8 hours. Then, for the next 20% of standard time, that is 20% into standard time is 200, is 40 hours. So the, for the next 40 hours of saving, bonus hours given will be 50% of 40, but 50% of 40 is 20 hours. So for the first 20 hours of saving, bonus hours will be 8, then the next, for, next 40 hours of saving, the bonus hours given will be 20 hours. Then it is given in the question that for the next 30% of standard time, that is 30% into 200 is 60 hours. So, but this person has saved only 80 hours. So, already for savings of 60 hours, bonus hours given is 28. And for the remaining 20 hours, so here I am writing for the balance, for the balance, 20 hours. So 20 hours, for the first 20 hours, 8 hours of bonus hours. Then for the next 40 hours, 20 hours of bonus hours is given. And for the balance, and this 20 hours falls in the slab of the next 30%, that is for the next 60 hours of saving, 
the bonus percentage will be bonus hours will be 60 percent of this saving in standard time that is 20 so this is 12 hour so total bonus hours awarded to the worker is 40. so Rekha Pan, who has saved 80 hours for the work that has been allotted to her so for the first saving of 20 hours she will be given a bonus hours of 8 then for the next saving in 40 hour a bonus hour of 20 is given and for the balance 20 hour a bonus of 12 hour is given so this is a very important problem generally student confuse in calculation of bonus hours so please try to understand the way I have solved it here now we are going to calculate the earning of Rekha Pal. So here I am writing the earning of Rekha Pal. So calculation of earnings of Rekha Pal. So basic, she has worked for 120 hours and the rate per hour is rupees 2. So basic is 240. And bonus will be given for 40 hours. So 40 hours into 2 is 80. So total earning of Rekha Pal is 320. So this is the required answer. And I am calculating another point here. That is earning per hour. Earning per hour. So earning per hour is the total earning divided by time taken. So total earning divided by time taken. So here total earning is 320 rupees and time taken is 120 hours. So earning per hour is 2.67 per hour. Thank you. Thanks for watching the lecture.